what is Kubernetes? <laughs> well, I think, you know, when we created Kubernetes, um, you know, it was about five years ago now, um, you know, if you were involved in uh, server-side stuff at that time at all, you know that there was this small company that introduced this project that really took the world by storm. And this was, of course, Docker. And Docker took this set of technologies that had been around for a while. See, these are things like C groups that Google introduced into the Linux kernel. Um, there's a, a, another technology called namespaces. Um, and, and they took all these, these core technologies that had been used um, in, uh, in a bunch of different ways, but they made it super approachable, super easy to use. They essentially democratized this set of esoteric technologies so that everybody could use it. And, um, and it really, really caught folks by surprise. And, uh, um, and it was a really exciting time to actually be working on server-side stuff, especially platforms. Oh, let me go back one here. Yeah, it was a really exciting time to be working on platforms. Um, and so the idea of a container, for those who aren't super familiar, is that you take a program that you're gonna be running on the server, and you capture everything that it needs to run, and you package it up into a thing. Right, we call this a container image. And then it's very easy to actually stamp out this thing multiple times. You can do it multiple times on one computer, you can do it across another computer, you can run it on your laptop, you can run it in a data center, and you actually get reproducible results across all these different environments. This turns out is a huge innovation because before that, every time you wanted to deploy someplace else, you had to do a bunch of fiddly work to try and make it work inside of the machine that you're trying to deploy to. So making deployment and capturing the environment of a program, making that deterministic and repeatable is a huge deal. And I think that's why folks got so excited about Docker. But with the history of Borg, we actually saw that, you know, doing this on one computer is exciting. Doing this across a cluster of computers, well, that's even better. We knew that's where the real value was. And so Kubernetes um, came to the, to, onto the scene at a time when folks were actually trying to figure out how do all these things relate? How do I take this great experience on one computer and explain, expand it to a cluster? And because of the 10 years of experience that Google had with Borg, we essentially had a cheat sheet. We knew how all these pieces could fit together in a way that would be productive for users. It's like having, uh, you know, everybody gets a bunch of puzzle pieces, but we actually had the picture on the, on the front of the box. We knew how all these pieces fit together. And so Kubernetes is essentially what we call an orchestration system, which is that I want to actually take a bunch of machines, I want to orchestrate which containers are running on which machines. Um, that's the value that most folks see out of Kubernetes. Uh, and that's great, and Kubernetes does a great job as a uh, container orchestrator. 